I'll give you an example here. Yeah. Um, when I was down there, there was a problem. Some kids got got shot. Oh boy! All right, they 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 carjack somebody. It was like one in the morning. They were fifteen years old, sixteen years old. They ran over. They they carjack people gunpoint. Got in the car, drove down a busy street, ran over three people. Wow! And they wouldn't stop the cops, so the cops shot up the car, killed the two. <laughs> so now they're starting to riot. Uh oh. Because they were, they were, um, I think they were Aborigines, two Aborigines sure. descent kids, right? <clears throat> so I'm sitting there watching this go down, and the head of police and like the, the highest thing, he's like, well, I don't know what to tell you if you don't like it. That's the way it is. The kids were destructive when we shot them. <laughs> Quite frankly, don't look at me for uh, answers. Look at their parents. <laughs> Why is a 14 year old child out at 1 a.m.? That's who you got to look at. And I'm like, good for him. Wow. I'm like, you know what? You can't say that in the finally States. Finally, something oh, sensible. Great. Right, right. It's yeah. sensible. Can't say that in the States. What? No. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, and everyone's like, why? Oh. Immediately. Why didn't you? Why didn't you shoot at the tires? Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the cops and the guy said, he goes, listen, when we draw our guns, we're not shooting to be nice, and we're not shooting to stop you. We're <laughs> nice. shooting to kill. Case closed. We take the gun out. We shoot to kill. And that, I just thought, like, you know what? There's something to say in, in that yeah. atmosphere. We're here. We, we'd have oh. riots and letter, debates Apolo on CNN and Apologies, Fox News lots and of apologizing. And, uh, and like, no. Two knuckleheads uh -huh. stole a car. They ran people over. The cops were chasing them. You see the lights. Pull over. Oh, I love it. You don't pull yes. over. You're a threat to society. Yeah. You're getting shot. Mm. Not my fault. You were on something. There's a kid uh, here in New York City. Yeah. Pulls a uh, run away from cops. Pulls out a fucking 38. Spins around. Points oh, it at the cops. Sh shoot, cops dead. light him up. Oh, yeah. yeah and, I got uh, to. And killed him. Yeah. There's still demonstrations and uh, uh, religious leaders that are getting behind the family that's saying they want an investigation. There are witnesses that said there wasn't a gun. and that, There was a gun. It's right down the street next to his dumb dead body. Right. And, and it's not 1972 where one of them right. reached down to his ankle and, and threw a 38 at the fucking kid. You know, right. it, <laughs> There's too many cameras now for the cops to get away with those shenanigans. There's too much... Uh, uh, yeah, everyone's got a video camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got a video camera. But, but that's the difference because they entertain these fucking parents and religious leaders and community activists. Right. That just the sheer, the only reason that they're saying anything is because it's a black kid and, and it's usually shot by, uh, even black cops are considered, you know, fucking white cops. It's the right. cops against the black it's the people. Cops but if the kid the didn't the spin around with a right. gun and pointed at a cop, why should he get any special treatment because he's black? Because if anyone spun around anyone and spun pointed around. the gun, You're they done. were going to fucking shoot him. You're done. But I when it's a black YouTube. kid, they freak the fuck out, and there's all kinds of problems. I, it, the, unfortunately, what happens is yo-yos take advantage, and they... I really... Th I go in the deep conspiracy of... Oh, they do that just to keep everyone divided. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is true. It's just to keep everyone divided we because like white people division. sitting down going, look at these black people. They get, <laughs> he deserved to get shot. And then they show the the black people going, man, the white man's a devil. And it, it's just all, it's just, every time they start getting along, they're like, we need a black kid shot. <laughs> <laughs> and riled it up. Put a fake gun or something. I mean, it is much easier to um, <laughs> to to at the end of the day. It is easier to have power over a very divided peoples than it is if they all get together and start yes. thinking as one. It's a little dangerous. We should yes. be united, not divided. Nice. United, <laughs> not divided. Uh, but Martin Luther, dope. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but that. That's why I don't even watch. I don't watch the news. It's so. St it's yeah. It's uh, like gun laws. I uh, if you, everyone should have a right to have a gun. I mm. think a gun. Bang, 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 it's a gun. Yeah. That's a suspect. Exactly. That's, That's what I say. That's a suspect. <laughs> Unless you're in the military or, or you're hunting, there's no reason for that. There's no one no... can have a machine gun. You can't have a machine gun. And, really and at can. the end Not of the allowed. day, it, this is the, the news 
they'll say, I, I would say, some of my friends are so Fox News oriented, it drives me, oh, this is how the Nazis did it. <laughs> <laughs> I go, what are you talking about? This is how the Nazis, I'm like, no, the last I heard, the Nazis would knock at the door, I'm like, does your name end in Stein? <laughs> They're not looking like. What are you talking about? <laughs> or, or they'll say, I, I get so riled. I, I, I feel bad for people when they go. Well, it's the Constitution, all right? Like, are you retarded? Yep. Are you? They wore fucking wigs and tights <laughs> when they wrote up the Constitution. It took forty minutes on a guy on a fucking horse. To shoot somebody. There were no cars. You had to get on a horse. You had to puck fucking gunpowder and stick it in there. Chase this fucker with your, fixing your wig. <laughs> the, the bouncing of the horse was fucking your wig up. <laughs> then you had to fix your tights and then the gun would go up by accident. And it took another 20 minutes to fucking to get this guy to reload. So that whole not... And, and then there's... And they go, well, what if, you know, our government's taking over. It, that that argument makes me absolutely. Fu uh, it like, is an asshole argument. You, it's beyond an asshole <laughs> argument. <laughs> like, did you watch Boston? Did you see what happened when the so-called bomber, which is another fucking thing, the bomber, uh, dude. Uh -oh. All right, I'm gonna get started here. I right, love for, it. For, for twenty four straight twenty four straight hours. Uh. They, they go, I ah, am, there comes a SWAT truck, and there's 14 SWAT people. And they show the same video of the fucking SWAT truck. And here are the dogs. <laughs> and, they, and then they would have the helicopters. And I sat there watching going, oh, man, they got those heat-seeking helicopters. It's over. And then, like, okay, we're well, running over here. And then they... they <laughs> running over here. Run, they're, they're, they're going, I don't know what's going on over there, but they're all going over there. That's how the news guys <laughs> there's the, there's the helicopter. It's circling up. <laughs> it's been 24 hours. The, he was shot in the juggler. How do you get shot in a fucking neck? <laughs> the dogs can't sniff you out. Nobody can find... But my kid comes out of the pool with a stubbed toe, and I can see where this little fucking yo-yo went all the way into the bedroom, not, the blood not trail. cleaning off their toe. Like, I could see you came out of the pool, you fucking stubbed your toe here, you walked all the way in the new carpet, into your fucking bedroom, and then the bed. I could see your stupid stubbed toe. This guy's hitting the juggler. <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> there goes more SWAT teams and more dogs. And they're... And they're Fucking no one's allowed to have she like old people coming out of the house and they're like, go! <laughs> My dog has to shoot. Get down! Get back in the house! <laughs> you can be a suspect! <laughs> My dog got to go down! They got an old lady and she's down on the floor and they got the M16s to her face. <laughs> yeah. And then, okay. <laughs> And then they show the same video. Here's them walking around the corner again. Obviously, the younger guy is following the older brother. He's obviously the leader. Let's look at that video one more time for the 1,700,000th time. Here's the older brother. There's the younger brother. Here's the older brother. Here's the younger brother. This is moments before the bomb. No one has these fucking guys dropping a bomb, walking a bomb, walking away. But they got 18 million videos of walking around a corner. No other fucking video. Then they let it all go. Okay, we're releasing it. We can't find him. He's in the boat in the backyard. <laughs> Does anyone watch fucking cops? <laughs> like, he said it wasn't even, it was straight as it ran up back here. Every cop's video is like, ah, he's under the fucking pool. <laughs> the yeah, pool. Yeah. He's under the raft. <laughs> he's under a bush. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to get into that. What I'm getting into is the, the, the whole, that's very suspect. When people, when I watched that, that made me again look at yo-yos that are into like, you can't take my guns away because if the <laughs> government takes over. <laughs> so the government's going to take over and you're going to hold them off. <laughs> Did you see what happened in Boston, you fucking retard? Yeah. Mr. Educated, watch Fox News 24-7 with your, with your degree. 
<laughs> oh, you don't know what's going on in this country. Really? Oh, okay, your M16 is going to hold off that fucking <laughs> army. Army. And that was just one and town. And at the end of the day, if you're that packed, it's going to be some kid who's 18 going like this on a computer. Okay, mission accomplished, sir. <laughs> and you're going to be sitting there with your whole arsenal going, Do you hear bottle rocket? <laughs> what the hell sounds like a bottle <laughs> <laughs> Making a comp, <laughs> And then the other stupid thing is, uh, what, what were they? I was just listening to this three days ago at someone's house, and I just, I'm silent because I just watch these idiots argue with each other. And they don't even, it's not even common sense. It's just watching news. If you watch Fox News and CNBC, they teach you how to argue each other. <laughs> they teach you how to argue each other. There's no common sense. Well, let's go to our space. On the one hand, you got this opinion. And on the other hand, you have this opinion. And in this opinion, it grits. So you're already going, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that's how I feel. You fucking morons. <laughs> that's how I feel. That's exactly it. Exactly. All right, answer that question, Mr. Specialist. Uh, and so then, this is the other one gets me nuts. Well, China is going to take over. And this is, what if we're taking over? If America's taken over, can you imagine? God forbid we're taken over. Taken over. We're invaded. Oh, wow. Okay. We're invaded. Mm hmm. They got past our amazing, intelligent military that found the fucking Boston bomber 24 hours by a neighbor. <laughs> Wasn't even the f f military didn't find him. The fucking neighbor said, I think there's some blood gushing out the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should say, he wasn't even saying, there's some, there's some blood. Out right in the back. Out right in the backyard. Yeah, whatever the fuck Boston people talk. Uh... <laughs> I think you might want to look into that. Uh, if, if, if Some our... red liquid's coming out of my Boston <laughs> whaler. <laughs> my whaler. Someone's fucking with my whaler in the yard. My dog's licking the outside of my whaler. It's got blood all over. I ain't seen no dead rabbits. Uh... And so, if you're sitting there, our intelligence, our amazing military that was all over that, couldn't stop that, couldn't catch them. Yeah. They can't stop whoever's going to infiltrate us. Then our local police force takes over. They can't stop them. Do you think Jed in Tennessee and Bob in Jersey with your... Oh, thank God for the gun law. Yeah. I got my... Tony on Long Island. Yeah, Tony on Long Island. Going to stop That's me. <laughs> Fung Duck Young and Vladimir and whoever who's just already crushed everyone. This ain't Red Dawn in the night. This ain't Patrick Swayze ain't going to help you, you retards. <laughs> People are retarded when they watch the fucking news. So anyway, I don't know how I got into that. They're uh, um, very funny. Well, man. I do have a couple of responses. Please, to that. please, I do have a couple of responses. Please, uh, and and of course, I I don't think there's anyone in their right mind that would assume that a bunch of people with whatever weapons are legally available to uh, the American public these days can can fend off the United States military. Correct. I never thought that. I don't think that's actually the point. Correct. What I think the point is, mm. is that an armed public cannot be taken over with a swipe of the, the pen uh, in, in more of a, a figurative term. But here it is. You're not looking to uh, uh, defeat the United States Army with your, your guns at home. Sure. But. Yes. If the United States military and the government leading that military knows it has to fire upon its people because its people will shoot back at them, uh -huh. it, it, it negates the country. The country's gone at that point. So then what is the government actually holding on to at that point? You know what I mean? You can't open fire on a, a, a huge number of American people because they're shooting back at you. Now, if the American people have no weapons, it's very easy to just legislate your your uh, um, will upon them and, and uh, uh, take away people's rights and whatnot. It's not winning. The thing is, if you even get into a battle with the American people, you lose. You instantly lose. 
You you lost the country. You've lost everything the country supposed to le- supposedly stands for. Uh-huh. And and there's no more what? free United States of America. I and there know. is one now. I know you can you can you can talk about what it is now and everything. I understand that. I don't think it's free now either. And I Waco. think and I think they can legislate against you in small pockets of resistance like Waco and whatnot. Uh, Boston. You can, yes, you can smooth it over and say, well, these are individual things on a large scale. On a large scale, where 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 a, a tyrannical American government wants to completely take over, mm. uh, in, in in some way, I don't know what it would be, but you cannot make that huge leap to you know <laughs> mission accomplished. You can't do that and then and then have people show up at Disney World the next day like nothing happened. Uh. You know what I mean? It it takes. A- <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah, really. That's a goofy <laughs> argument. Man. It is not. It's a goofy yeah, argument. No, man, man. It it's is a goofy not argument. a goofy argument. It's a goofy argument. It so is what you, not a goofy at argument. At the end of the day, what are you saying? I still don't even understand what you're saying. What I'm saying is an armed pe- population okay, we of all this, have guns. Yeah, of this got country. It. Okay. Everyone that's armed legally. in this country is... Yes. Yes, legally. Okay, you got arms, right, I got right. arms. Okay, I got that. Now what? I believe it is a deterrent to the government just e- invoking its will on the people without... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Anthony, yeah. you really think? Yeah. Let's say, let's say you've got a tank. Exactly. Let's say you've got uh, uh, armored vehicle personnel or whatever. Yes, you have a nuclear warhead <laughs> uh-huh. in your fucking garage. Sure. You really think at the end of the day, someone in Washington's going, listen. It's time for takeover, but keep away from that Anthony no. from the O and A show because he's got too many weapons. No, it never goes to the gets to that point. So what is it? It I never gets to that point. It's a deterrent. It's almost a like an someone's got a dog detente. and I don't want to go in that house because they got a dog. It's an uneven detente where it's a balance of power based on the fact that if mm. anything happens, it it negates what we are right now. It it, it eliminates. This country of ours. If if the United States military starts if firing on American people who are firing back at the military on a level much bigger than Waco, then it, th- th- but that doesn't have to happen because you don't understand what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's really fucking, pretty far fetched. It is that far fetched. <laughs> you're talking about fucking communism. You're yeah. talking about like pure <laughs> Russian military. Oh my God. What is, hey, look, it's the 4th of July parade. <laughs> no, it's not. Welcome to America. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, they're shooting on I us. <laughs> I, thought it was a, I thought it was a float. What happened to America? They took our, they took our guns away. That's what happened. It's goddamn Nazism all over. Like, you're, you're so yeah. far-fetched in what no, you're saying. No, it's not far-fetched. Because yes, it is. It's crazy. It's lunacy what you're saying. I'm not even saying what's lunacy. It's lunacy. You're saying more lunacy shit thinking the government uh, is going to have some 18-year-old in a fucking shipping container launching drone uh, attacks on on cities that people have fucking... That's that's lunacy? That's more action movie shit than me saying that people, the knowledge that the American people have over 300 million guns in their possession. You ever see the videos? You ever see the videos of like Iraq war when they're on the ships? Yes. What do you think? That's a guy packing a fucking... Missile in a thing. That's a guy in a computer going. I know that. I think you're but missing my point. I, I think a lot of people are. No, I think a lot of people know exactly what I'm talking about. There I don't is know a deter- what you're talking there is about. it's simple. There is a deterrent yes. alone in the knowledge that the American people yeah. are armed. Regardless if they're armed with fucking muskets or blow guns or anything else, but there's a deterrent there. To know, but no one cares if you got a gun. Like yeah. I don't care if you got a gun. We're talking about crazy semi-automatic. Uh, What's the difference between assault semi-automatic rifle. assault rifle? Shut rifles. up with assault rifle. <laughs> an assault <laughs> rifle is a semi-automatic gun, like a hunting rifle. There's nothing yeah. different. Right. I'm talking like you can't own one. You can't own a machine gun in this country. You shouldn't. There's no reason. But there is to. already a law. There's that no reason there. that. Yeah. I know, but again, why can't I have? Why why can't I go out right now yeah. in New York State? <laughs> yes. and buy a semi-automatic AR-15 uh, and 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 take it to the range. Because why if you get, get fucking wasted or or you, or what? someone finds it, it's just it's a 
deadly oh. fucking weapon. Ah, Here's wasted. the other one. Here's the other one. Well, then you yeah. gotta stop cars, and we should take cars away. Right. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> yeah. Fucking retard argument. Right. <laughs> it's all madness, dude. It's it's the it's the thought process that you really think it's going to deter anything Ooh. that that I think starts insulting well, intelligence. Well, then I think the bigger insult is the thought process thinking taking guns away from uh, uh, people. Away. Oh yeah, this. try to buy that. Try what? to buy that. Why would I want to? Because <laughs> it's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, one of my kids find it, or one of the retard kids right. across find the street it. find what are you, it. What yeah. are you leaving it laying around like a rake? Yeah, so you <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> You gotta be what's called responsible yeah. when you're on a gun. Are just like, it. just like right. you have to with a car. Yeah. With a car. You gotta be responsible with a car. <laughs> you do. But people aren't. Yeah, but. That's the problem. But you have to be with a car. But you're not. You're letting Ooh. people drive. You're letting irresponsible Ooh. people get into cars to drive and kill many more people yeah. than guns. Now, you laugh at that. You laugh at it, but it's the same argument okay. you're making. Okay. Oh, they leave their keys around for their 16-year-old to jump in and drive away. Well, why do you leave your keys in your purse, dummy? Because no one takes a car and purposely drives into a school and mows them the fuck down. Uh. And you know what? On, on a, a, a statistical level, it's very rare. Statistics. Ooh, all right, yeah. so when your yeah. kid is killed, you let me know how that statistic hey, works. all right, how about the That's fucking... That's the dumbest thing How ever. about the Ooh. six kids in Chicago that were fucking shot over the weekend that no one even gave a shit about? Because we're that used to it now. Like, oh, more oh, kids is that killed. It? Is that it? What if are I'm... you arguing for? What? Are you, what? what are you, like, barking for? What do you want? You just want machine guns? I, I want the ability... Okay. To live my fucking life the way I want. You have it. No, I don't. You got fifty. You got a I big fucking contract. I want to buy another contract. one of those. You got a great. I want to buy another one of then those. Then move to a country where you can get one. Well, I guess I can't. Why not? Because they figured out the rest of the world figured out. Then oh when the my fucking people God. stop oh. it! The rest of the world figured out what? Ooh. That when you have... savages are killing people all over the world uh, hey, with how weapons about a lot less fucking sophisticated than that. And you know what? Ooh. The people that kill us here are nice, young, educated people. They're not savages. No, they're they're not. wackos. Or they're on drugs. Most of or it they is... had problems. Or they grew up in a bad home. They're not savages. No, most of them are gang savages, and that's where Ooh. all the homicides come from. Mm. There's a small portion <laughs> that are those crazy white kids that shoot up the schools and that's what the news picks up uh, on but it's kids. not romantic and fun enough when it's just gangbangers shooting grandma what? for a piece of crack or shooting at yeah. his buddy from three feet away and hitting yeah. three 12 year olds what? Uh, yeah take it away. they shouldn't have it fucking take it away they shouldn't have it take it away they shouldn't have it right yeah so what's the problem the problem is uh they like legislate. fireworks i'm annoyed that i can't light off m80s anymore that bothers me but because some retard blew his fucking hand off or let his kid get way he got wasted and the kid blew it up that fucked up fourth of july i think we still <laughs> enjoy fourth of july every year now i gotta travel to a, a fucking river to watch it for 20 hours and then take me nine hours to get home but we still have fourth of july it's no fucking difference. They, no difference. Too many retards fucked it up. The mm. guy across the street, a guy in my general neighborhood. Yeah. His kids came walking around the neighborhood with bullets strapped around and with one of the guns. It's like. He should have been arrested. Should have been. But he wasn't. Well, he should have been he fucking arrested. He should have been. Which proves to the point we, we just. Yeah. We can't take control of it. So when we can't get control oh, of it, you're not allowed to play oh, the toy. Stop. You're yeah. fucked. You think that every everyone should be based on the lowest common denominator and what they can or can't fucking handle? There's and that's how we should take it away. Well, you know what? Maybe sometimes you get up on stage. Not a maybe gun. you'll say shit that Ooh. offends people sure. or, or makes people do things or influences <laughs> people. So why don't we just take what you say uh, and throw that out the fucking window too, bro? What's it got to do with it's taking the same the thing? Somewhere. Yeah. No, it makes no sense. It, 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 you're saying that yes. because some people can't handle certain things, yes. that everyone no. can't have it. Murder uh, weapons. I don't have a murder weapon. Oh. I don't have a weapon that can destroy and kill somebody. Oh, we, we could argue that you're fucking uh, influential. You're very influential. <laughs> Your speech is very influential. Okay. And look out. You might influence day. people to hurt homosexuals or Negroes. At the end of the day, yeah. are you upset just with guns in general or that you can't get a, a machine gun? I like no no I, I I don't need a machine gun. 
I, you want to like a, I like a good semi-automatic. You know, it, it, when you pull the trigger, every one okay. pull, one bullet flies out the other end. And you use it for target and, I love and going leisure. to the range and yes. target shooting. And then I like having other weapons that I yes. use for self-protection. Yes. Which is, uh, I kind of like the idea that it puts you on equal footing with some th thug that might want to do you bodily harm. Yeah. Yeah, I... I'm with like you that. there a hundred percent. Someone busts in your I'm door. I'm with you. I'm sure if someone kicks in your door, the first thing you're going to think is, "I wish I had a gun." Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> someone came over to my house. He he showed me his gun. He's like, "Listen, I travel everywhere with a gun. I need to let you know I have a gun in your house." Oh, that's nice. I said, "Okay, what, let me see." He goes, "Listen, it's in a case." Blah blah blah, and he showed it to me. And I'm not going to lie. Mm. Um, my wife every night. Gives me a fucking uh, false alarm. Someone's breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I get worried because I know the golf club or the bat just ain't going to do it. Yeah. With with a bullet facing my torso. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one night while they were sleeping over, oh, yeah. I swear to God. Slept like a baby. I, no, I, I no. got woken up oh. in the middle of the night. Someone's tussling the front door. What? Some I know I hear someone trying to get in the front door. This is every other month. It was the first time in my life I just got up with no fear. <laughs> <laughs> Walk to the front door and even ask who it was. I just opened the front door <laughs> knowing they may get me, but my kids are safe because right <laughs> next to them is some weapons that are going to put major holes in these people right, yeah. or deter them. Yeah. I don't have a problem with with that. Right. It's it's sort of like playing a game with rules. All right? yeah. We all have a rules mm. to this game. However, as much as steroids, baseball, whatever, yeah. uh, we, obviously, whoever's making the rules up yeah. aren't sticking to them, and it's it's turning into bad shit yeah. here and there, even if this percentage is small, even if it's blah, 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 and it's fucking things up for you, who should have the it right to go, certainly I is. go to a range, and so, like this guy, he goes to a range. When I went to the range, this guy had a... Um, he had, it looked like a Smith & Wesson, but it was, it sounded like a cannon. And he warned us, he went, hey, listen. <laughs> he was a huge guy. He went, hey, listen, I'm shooting off a, a, I don't even, assault rifle. He said it's assault, but it was a pistol. Wow. And this thing, Lily, it was so loud. Even with the with the headphones on, it had a hole. It was like, yeah. pow. It was probably the 50 caliber, yeah. Yeah, and it went, pow. And flames came out the end. Oh, and the and the um, what do you call it? The the target the yeah. would just explode <laughs> like feathers getting a pigeon getting blown up. And and you can see his boner. And I don't. I would have one too. Just go. Bow, bow. And my daughter, I have to say, she was shooting and she was a beast. Oh. And she turned to me and she went. I really like that feeling of power. It's just so, uh, I, it's fun to shoot. I yeah. But does the average citizen need that? I mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Jimmy. I'm just then yeah. correct. Uh, yeah. Jimmy's now. an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, so, but who was at the front door? Who's at the front door? <laughs> who, yeah, who, who was at the, the door? front door? Her imagination. Oh, no. <laughs> I figured as much, but I needed to Her know. imagination. <laughs> Who was at the front You left door. us with it, and I opened the door. Yeah. I like your, now, your analogy, though, with the sports, and there has to be yeah. rules and things like that. I understand the rule factor. But here's what happens. Imagine playing a game where you're adhering to the rules, right. but there's people on the other team that aren't paying attention to any rules. And... <sighs> There's, they're not penalizing those people. Every time someone doesn't yes. pay attention to the rules, they go to the people that are paying attention and give them more rules. Uh, so now like in New a York household, <laughs> it's if crazy. I'm in my house uh -huh. and my kids, I go, listen, no, no Fritos, no snacks after 7 o'clock. Right. <laughs> okay. 7 o'clock. Any snacks, you're going to get Punished. You, you, you're screwed. Right. No, no iPads. No Instagram and no email. No nothing. Okay. Now, when I'm not around, I go upstairs and this little fucker sneaking. Oh. I said, "Where'd you get that?" Well, mom said. Mom said, "Hey, did we not?" Go? Well, she did do her homework and then and then. And then two weeks 
later, there's ants infested in her bedroom and in my and the cat has fleas because the fucking bugs from the Fritos yeah. that she ate in the bed. And I go, this is why I don't want Fritos in here. And then it happened three times. And then I go, you know what? No more fucking Fritos, period, because I'm tired of people fucking with the rules. Everyone's fucked. So there. It's up to the people. And I tell the sisters, I go, listen. I don't care which one of you fuckers do it. One of you fuck up, you're all screwed. That gives an incentive for the other ones to go, uh, don't bring the Fritos up there. I'm going to tell might, Dad. That might work I'm right. gonna tell in, in, Dad. The brewer dict in the brewer dictatorship yes, that, that yeah. you, you live in. Yes. Well, <laughs> Fritos. Someone's eating the Fritos in bed, <laughs> and no one's... But I have a right to bear Fritos. Yeah. Yes, you, you do. You cannot take that away from me. <laughs> yes, you do. And no one's going to come in and take them. At the end. If you got the right. Fritos in your house, they're yeah. in your house. Tough shit. Yeah. They're in there already. From here on now, it literally should be like, sit down. What's your name? Where are you from? Right. First of all, the way you look, you, you gotta go home. It's already out. You're already, you're already out. You're already out. Do you know what I have to go? You know what people have to go through to, to get a gun, especially in a place like like New York. It is it is nearly impossible to get a pistol. Uh, the the ability to own a pistol in New York City. New York State, it's tough enough. Rifles, shotguns in New York City, almost impossible. Uh, you could do it in New York State. <laughs> but now they're legislating things like, all right, I have a pistol. It holds nine rounds in the magazine. Yeah. Now there's a law that was just passed yeah. that said I can only put seven bullets in whatever magazine I have. So if I have a ten-round magazine, I'm only allowed you to put seven, seven bullets stupid. in it. Now what will this do for crime at all? Because now, now what they're doing is if you're caught that you don't even know the law, you, you pop nine in because it fills the mag up and you put it in, and you're caught, you now are a criminal. You've taken a guy that has legally paid attention to the laws. He's, he's uh, kept his old nose clean. He's gone through the hoops to get right. the gun. And now, through this illusion that you're, there's Cuomo signing the big anti-gun violence bill. Sure. And making this guy now sure. go to jail or pay a fine or not be able to have a gun because he's violated a gun law. Yeah. Where he's put two more bullets that were supposed to be. Do you think a guy that's going to commit a c gun crime is is going well? At least I only put seven rounds in there. I didn't fill the gun up. Oh, I'm pointing it at someone and stealing his money, or I'm shooting somebody. So these laws that they put in place yeah. under this phony guise of public safety and anti-violence, and they always give it a good name. Uh, they, garb. They are doing nothing. To make people safe, what they are doing is taking people that have been adhering to the law and being good and safe and fucking them up. Yes. I don't yeah. get that part of the whole thing. It's politics. Well, yeah. It's just politics. It's the politics of contraband. It's so the smugglers blues. I know. And, and I really contemplated on getting a gun, mm. especially after... Hurricane Sandy because we had no electric and that's the first time Man, you shoot the fucking lipo guys I know that's that is, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time where I I realized how vulnerable everyone is everyone's vulnerable <laughs> yeah. our neighborhood was fine but only took three to five more weeks before our neighborhood would be like hey you got any food in there <laughs> <laughs> it was getting crazy at the gas stations where not even three to five first, weeks like, by the way you look at each other you do that mouth we're like eh, we're all here it's gas yeah and then by the next day and the day after that you start to look like yes i don't think he was here online yes. when, when and, and you all get yes. that that twilight zone mob mentality yes. there he is he's the one that started it. He'd chase him down with pipes. Yes. Two yeah. weeks tops. Yes. It would take two weeks. Yeah, yeah. But imagine oh, everybody had breakdown. guns, how fast things would get bad. Right. <sighs> Couple people well, get popped here and there. Let, now. Let me tell you one thing. I never worried about me getting gasoline. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I'm putting it in the container. Exactly. Back exactly. up. Back up. <laughs> There's seven bullets in here. I'm adhering yeah, to out. the rules. I'm oh, adhering to all the laws of the land. How many bullets but do you I'll need, take right? Seven of you. <laughs> I do say. <laughs> I was gonna get. I was thinking about getting a gun. My wife was yeah. upset with me. I went. I, in Jersey, you got to go to the police station. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, there you go. police station, all that jazz. And then I really. 
I, I know for myself, I'm not sure. Mm. Not that I would, not that I would use it, but I would flash it a lot. Oh shit! A little brandishing. I would be a flash. That's right. illegal. Me and Jimmy I'd be say a flash that. Yeah, that's very illegal. We're not responsible yeah. enough to have guns. And that's what my my friend is very responsible. He's like, listen, you don't. Mm. The rule is, you never take a gun out never. unless you're using it. Yeah. Case closed. He goes, the minute you take it out, you you're you're screwed. Now you're you better opening make yourself up to a lot of shit. You better right make there. sure that other person is popped, shot, done, <laughs> no questions asked. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. I really don't. If you just, if I don't know, I, I don't know. If, there, but there I is, know it's a great responsibility. My point is like, Huge. I know I don't have that responsibility yet. I know if you come in my house by he told me an instance where <clears throat> i said did you ever take it out and he said it one night scared the living the, the life out of me it was about three in the morning someone's banging my front door trying to get in mm. he goes i took out he has like a I don't know, nine millimeter or whatever mm. he takes out his gun he aims it at the door and announces I have a gun. It is loaded. I will be shooting you. Please, I'm calling the police. Oh, so do we, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit, we. Right. He said they then opened up the screen door and started banging the door as in trying to get it shouldering their way in. Come on. He said again, I'm going to shoot the minute that door is open. I'm open. Now he's got a little house. It's not like a hmm. it's a little place in Florida. It's not like he's in a mansion and, yeah, all this, yeah. and there's money to be taken here. And um then they went to the window where they started opening the window and then he heard giggling. And he realized it was his wife's oh boy, wasted friend trying to be funny. Oh, cute! And he's like, I literally almost killed this jackass. Did he yell at her or him? I, I, I you gotta assume. I assume, yeah. I, I assume they yelled. Why did I ask that mine? question? You have a great story, and I throw a literal question. <laughs> So what was, See, the, temp what was the temperature? I would have stuck the, <laughs> uh, I I stuck the gun up the, right down their esophagus. Yeah, <laughs> and and pulled the not pulled the Fuck. trigger, but I would yeah yeah oh, for an hour no. straight would have stuck a like in Karen, Karen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It would have been that scene. Gun <laughs> in your face. Like well, just obviously you got to be. But I realized he's sure about I what you're doing. I don't think I would have even let him get that far. I would have oh my God! It's a, no, pop, never through the right door. Right through the door. Oh, done. never through the door. That's a movie thing. I have oh three my kids. God. You're done. Gotta, you have five seconds, whether you're intoxicated or not. We gotta piss. Oh, I okay. gotta piss too. Yeah, all right. Jimmy had yeah, I'll piss too. Okay. Yeah, Jimmy right. just left. <laughs> we're, all, we're all gonna pee. Hey, uh, Brewer, what are you promoting by the way? Uh, what, do you, what do you got here? Let me see. June set Friday night. Epics new special. Same thing where uh, Jimmy is. Jimmy's oh, on Epics. Yeah, yeah, that was great. So what? A bunch it, of us are on Epics. Nice. So I think I I kick it off June seventh. Nice. I think. Uh, it's me, Norton, and a bunch of other comics, all with new one-hour specials. That's exciting. And then what yeah. do you got? Uh, Colonial then, uh, Theater, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Oh yeah, that's all this week. There's Pittsfield. There's that's June six. Uh, Richfield, Connecticut, June seventh. <gasps> Bay Street Theater, Sag Harbor. Yeah. Almost got a summer house in Sag Harbor. Did you? Almost. They won way too much money, but who gives a fuck? Why am I even saying? June tenth, uh, Bay Street Theater, Sag Harbor. Nice. Yeah. And then Governor's June thirteenth to the sixteenth. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thank you. JimBrewer.com dot com for uh, your dates. Yeah. Facebook, all that jazz. All right. The Old Anthony Show continues in moments. And now these messages.